Welcome to another chapter of our rock and roll stories. Today we're delving into the world of Mazzy Star, the trailblazing duo that graced the early 90s with their ethereal soundscape. So buckle up and prepare to be transported back to a time when music was raw, emotions were intense, and the stories were nothing short of legendary. It was the early 1990s, a time of musical revolution and soul-stirring tracks. In the midst of this sonic uprising emerged a sleeper hit that would redefine the era, Fade Into You, by none other than Mazzy Starr. Fronted by the incredible gifted David Roback, a true maestro who orchestrated the band's musical symphony and the hauntingly hopeful voice of the singer Hope Sandoval, the duo's chemistry was nothing short of magic. Their iconic hit found its home on their 1993 sophomore album, So Tonight That I Might See. But what set Mazzy Star apart was not just their music, but the essence of the purity that emanated from their sound and recording process. Fast forward to the 90s, where Fade Into You became an anthem for lovelorn teenagers and even caught the eye of Hollywood. But rewind the tape of time and you'll find David Roback exploring the bustling streets of New York in the late 70s, fueled by dreams of becoming a painter. As fate would have it, the rhythm of music resonated deeper with him, eventually leading him back to the vibrant embrace of Los Angeles. Now here's where destiny weaves its threads. Both Roback and Sandoval had their individual journeys through different bands before the universe brought them together to form Mazzy Star. Roback, alongside his brother Steven, ventured into music with Unconscious, paving the way for his later pursuits. And who would forget Sandoval? Hailing from East LA, she crafted her own path, forming the group Going Home and making a darling move to catch the attention of Rain Parade. Picture this, a backstage encounter, a demo tape, and the birth of a partnership. David Roback's encounter with Going Home's demo tape set in motion a chain of events that would lead to a symphony of collaborations. As the 80s unfolded, with David Roback in the driver's seat of production and Hope Sandoval, taking center stage on vocals, a new era was born. Two years of touring as Opal and plans for their second album, Ghost Highway, later, a decision was made, a fresh start was on the horizon. So, seven tracks came to life, laying the foundation for Mazzy Star's debut album, She Brings Brightly, released in 1990. And let me tell you, it was not just another debut, it landed a coveted spot on Billboard's alternative song charts. As Mezzy Star's star continued to rise, David Roback shouldered much of the promotion conversation. Hope Sandoval's reserved nature made her lyrical themes and personal life a bit more enigmatic. Roback's praise for Hope was profound. He saw her as a voice for her generation, a modern day Bob Dylan, weaving hope and light through her poignant lyrics. As Rough Trade's U.S. branch shuttered its doors, leading Mazzy Starr to find a new home with Capitol Records. This era saw them embark on a journey to craft their sophomore sensation, so tonight that I might see. Little did you know that this album would produce their iconic hit, Fade Into You. It wasn't meant to be a nostalgic anthem. Contrary to popular belief, the dreamy song speaks of heartache and longing for the present moment. The piano and slide guitar weave a tapestry of emotions that was never intended to be a chart topper. Yet it soared to platinum heights, selling over a million copies and claiming the number three spot on modern rock charts. As the echoes of their second record faded, Mazzy Star remained in the spotlight with touring, television appearances, and remarkable film placements like Batman Forever and Stealing Beauty. Their music infiltrated the hearts of listeners across generations. Their third album, Among My Swan, emerged in 1996. The Capitol Records recognized the multifaceted appeal of Mazzy Star, not just confined to teenagers or adults, but a timeless essence that defined boundaries. Surprisingly, Among My Swan found itself mentioned in the most unexpected places, including Martha Stewart Living, of all things. The journey, however, was not without its challenges. Despite its glowing press coverage and innovative promotional strategies, the album's commercial performance fell short of expectations. Amid these twists and turns, Hope Sandoval reportedly expressed her desire to be freed from the confines of their label contract. The ever-changing landscape of major labels, chasing the formula for massive sales, clashing with the essence of Mazzy Star's artistry, 
Their hiatus ensued in 1997, leading both Sandoval and Roback toward divergent musical paths. Yet music never ceased to flow in their veins. As the years slipped by, the duo continued to collaborate, even if releasing music wasn't their primary focus. The hiatus spanned for almost 13 years. Then the long-awaited moment arrived. In 2013, Mazzy Star emerged from the shadows with Season of Your Day, peaking at number 24 on the UK album chart and number 42 on the Billboard album chart in the United States. Yet fate dealt its hand in 2016. The band mourned the loss of their drummer, Keith Mitchell, after his battle with cancer. Amidst these moments, the band released an EP titled Still, a testament to their unwavering spirit. David Roback remained a driving force, working on projects that celebrated their legacy. However, tragedy struck in 2020, claiming Roback's life due to cancer, leaving a void that could never be filled. As we look back on the trajectory of Mazzy Star, their influence extended far beyond their heyday, shaping the very landscape of 2000 pop music. The Guardian's tribute to David Roback echoed through the years, acknowledging how his artistic echoes resonated through artists like Lana Del Rey. So, as we end this chapter of Mazzy Star's tale, remember the echoes of their music still reverberate through time. The bond between Roback and Sandoval, the anthem that united lovelorn souls and the journey that led to each together, well, it's a saga that ignites both rock and roll spirit. Before you go, drop a comment with your favorite Mazzy Star memory or which rock legend you'd like us to uncover next. And if you haven't already, do consider subscribing to our channel for more tales that celebrate the soul of rock and roll. If you'd like to learn Mazzy Star's Fade Into You, be sure to check the description box where you can learn it on acoustic guitar. Until then, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.